Yo, back with Mike L.S. The grind don't stop, people. So let me give y'all a quick update on the box Chevy. So we gonna go to the checklist. So we got number one, we got the rear drive shaft that's done, transmission oil done, differential gasket done, 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 done. But now, we actually gonna go into what I'm doing today. So, give y'all some light. So if y'all can see down here, sway bar is about to drop down, right? We got the upper trailer arm in on the driver's side. Let's go to the passenger side, folks. Upper trailer arm on the passenger side installed, right? So now, sway bar is coming down tonight. It's about to drop. And then, we're gonna drop tonight the rear trailer arms. We're gonna drop it and we're gonna install it tomorrow. So now my only um thing I gotta see how to adjust the um the arms and all that because I never did that. So you know I gotta put back on the 28s. First I'm gonna put on the 26s and try to see how um the adjustment go. But the grind the people, the grind don't stop. Box should be outside soon. Y'all see what my Saturday look like. You know what I mean? Got all the tools out, a little something, something. Got the old socks right there. Got, you know, you know how it go. They go the um, past this uh, trailer arm that came out today. And I'm about to just drop right now, as I said, the sway bar. I'm gonna clean up the arm. Um, the sway bar, the existing upper trailer arm, the lower trailer arm. And I will pull it for sale. Or I may do like a little giveaway or something. You know what I mean? If you got a box Chevy and you don't got whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? You will get the existing Mike LS trailer arms and rear sway bar. So stay tuned. You know, I'm working. The grind don't stop. Y'all already know. Y'all see what it is. No games. DIY. Doing it myself this time. So we see how this going to work out. Catch y'all soon on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe.